while since you saw my face. I haven't been doing so great, so I took a little break. So a lot of people are saying some things about me that aren't quite true. Doesn't matter if it's true, though. Just as long as it's entertaining to you. Right? You guys having fun? All aboard the toxic gossip train. You're chugging down the tracks of misinformation. The toxic gossip train. You got a one-way ticket to manipulation station. Toxic gossip train. Time you to the tracks and harass me for my past. Cause rumors look like facts. If you don't mind the gaps, I won't survive in the crash. But hey. At least you're having fun. Uh, hi everyone. I've been wanting to come online and talk to you about a few things. Um, even though my team has strongly advised me to not say what I want to say, I recently realized that they never said that I couldn't sing what I want to say. So, here I am. And um, today I only want to talk about the facts. So, I hope that you'll be willing to listen. Here we go. Many years ago, I used to message my fans, uh, but not in a creepy way, like a lot of you are trying to suggest. It was more of a loser kind of way, where I was just trying to be besties with everybody. It's kind of like uh, when you go to like a family gathering, you know, and there's a weird aunt there who keeps coming up to you and going like, hey girl, what's the tea? And you're like, Ugh. Um, that was me, but in group chats with my fans. It was weird. I've been sharing my life online for over 15 years. I've poured my heart out to you, and because of that, I feel like I'm talking to my friends. But in the beginning of my career, I didn't really understand that maybe there should be some boundaries there. There were times in the DMs when I would overshare details of my life, which was really weird of me. I haven't done that for years, you see, because I changed my behavior and I took accountability. But that's not very interesting, is it? So let's go on the toxic gossip train. The locomotives fueled with hateful accusations. The toxic gossip train. Steamroll over someone's reputation. Toxic gossip train. Hop on board but close your eyes, otherwise you'll realize that the train is made of lies and that person you despise maybe didn't deserve to die, but hey. At least you're having fun. In all seriousness, I do think it's really important to hold people accountable for their mistakes. Um, you know, we should hope that everyone can learn from their mistakes and grow and change their behavior and be a better person. And this is something that I've always tried to do when I make mistakes, and it's something that I will continue to try to do. What? Oh, you don't care? Oh, okay. I thought you wanted me to take accountability. That's not the point of your mob mentality, is it? No. Your goal is to ruin the life of the person you despise while you dramatize your lies and monetize their demise. Yeah. Um, I feel like I can already hear the comments on this video. She's gaslighting, manipulating. Oh, she's a narcissist and a rat. I would never make a mistake like that. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that all of you are perfect, so please criticize me. Bring out the daggers made from your perfect past and stab me repeatedly in my bony little back. I'm sure you're disappointed in my shitty little song. I know you wanted me to say that I was 100% in the wrong. Well, I'm sorry, I'm not going to take that route of admitting to lies and rumors that you made up for clout. Everybody, I found someone new to harass. She did some things that I do not like in her past. So everybody gather around, cause we're about to attack. But not based on facts, oh no. Your loaded lethal weapon is your fingers on the keys. You don't need any armor when you can hide behind a screen. So shoot me down quick in the click and bam. My reputation's deceased. Uh, I also wanted to take a minute to talk about that girl Miranda sings. You know the one. 
Yeah, her? Oh, she's PG-13. It says that on my website, and it's always been that way. And that's why you won't find my videos on the YouTube Kids app. Anyway, um, I didn't realize it was my responsibility to decide what was appropriate for every kid to see. I've always relied on parents to decide if they're comfortable with their families watching my YouTube videos or coming to my live shows. Have I made some jokes in poor taste? Yes. Have I made lots of dumb mistakes? Yes. Am I sad that there are some fans who feel betrayed? Yes. But was my intention to manipulate? No. It doesn't really matter what my intention was, because it seems as though everyone's already decided on that. Let me tell you, it's not very fun have millions of people all over the world call you the most vile, horrendous, disgusting, life-ruining words that a person can be called, in my opinion. Um, it doesn't matter that these things aren't true. Uh, everyone just believes that you are the type of person who manipulates and abuses children. So I just wanted to say that... Um, the only thing I've ever groomed is my two Persian cats. I'm not a groomer, I'm just a loser who didn't understand I shouldn't respond to fans. And I'm not a predator, even though a lot of you think so, because five years ago I made a fart joke. So. Even though I know this video won't change anyone's mind about me, I still felt it was important to come on here and defend myself a little and take accountability. And I also wanted to say that to anyone out there who has ever supported me in any capacity, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you. For what it's worth, I never had any bad intentions. But I do feel like shit. The toxic gossip train I'm chugging down the tracks of misinformation Toxic gossip train Got a one-way ticket to manipulation station Toxic gossip train You tied me to the tracks and harassed me for my past Rumors look like facts when you don't mind the gaps I won't survive in the crash, but hey I hope you had some fun Actually, you know, I feel like maybe I should let you guys know something. Um, it seems like maybe you're confused about something. I don't know. Let me try to help. Um, sometimes people make a mistake and it doesn't make them a horrible person. Whoa. Sometimes people can make a mistake and they're still a good person. Crazy, I know. Sometimes people can make a mistake and you don't have to take that mistake. Oh no. And twist it up and grind it and add some lies to it and pulverize it and stab it with knives and ruin a life. And oh no. Doesn't mean you gotta send them hate, oh no Sometimes people can make a mistake And you can kindly let them know And help them to grow Sometimes people make mistakes Simply because they made a mistake And that 
mistake doesn't make them a terrible human. It just makes them a human. But what do I know?